everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I am Bible journaling about peace that we can have through God, through Jesus, because he has overcome the world. And I'm also going to be sharing with you a really fun baby wipes technique. I know I've done it before in videos and I just kind of wanted to feature it once again, something I hadn't done for a while and I just pulled it out today and thought, this is so fun, I have to share. So I am using my Peace Because Jesus template set. This is available over in my Etsy store. Right now it is currently still 15% off, but only through the 15th of August, which I believe is the day this video goes live. So hop on over if you've been kind of debating whether or not to buy a batch of templates. Everything over there is 15% off right now. So wanted to let you guys know about that. So this template in particular, I had designed with the idea of a tip-in in mind. And so certainly you could use this as a tip-in in your Bible. Today I am actually using it as a full page piece of art in my interleaved Bible. So this is the Bible where every other page is blank front and back. And I love that because it gives me so much room to work. So I'm just going to have a great time here meditating on the peace that we have available to us through Jesus because he has overcome the world. That's a pretty amazing, cool thing. You could also use this in a normal journal, in a sketch pad, in a notebook, anything you have where you're doing your Bible art. These do not need to be in a specific journaling Bible of any kind. These are just created for you as a tool to help you jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. I say that all the time. So all I've done so far is just kind of traced this into my Bible, and I am going to be using my watercolor crayons today. These are Mungyo brand, and they are similar to the Neocolor 2 in that they are water soluble. So you can kind of scribble them around on the page, and then in a little bit, you'll see me go in with a damp brush, and that just kind of helps these colors melt into one another and blend. So on my globe, on my world down at the bottom, I'm kind of going in with multiple colors of green on the land and multiple colors of blue in the ocean to give this globe kind of a fun, maybe more rustic look than just going in with one solid color on the land and one in the water. I kind of wanted to allow there to be some texture. And in a similar fashion, I'm just going through and tracing the letters with this pink crayon. And I did go ahead and try to have two different colors of pink on this, but they ended up kind of blending into one another and not being different enough to really show up. And I was fine with that as well, but that was the initial plan. And as I went through here with my damp brush, you can see I have a paper towel on hand. Anytime I kind of notice a big water droplet forming on my brush, I'm just kind of dabbing that off before I continue to trace over these watercolor crayons that I've put on the page. And then eventually I did decide that I wanted each letter in this word to be pink entirely. And so I'm just using this crayon almost as if it was a watercolor in and of itself. And I just put the wet brush straight on the end of the crayon to get even a little bit more color. Now on this water down here, I am starting with the lightest blue first and just blending that in and giving that some time to dry. And then I'll be going into the more medium blues and darker blue areas. And I am gonna skip ahead a little bit and cut out some of this. It just takes a little bit of time. And so I wanted to kind of speed things up a little bit for you. But this is so great. This is one of the best things about Bible journaling, I think, is that while I'm doing this, I'm listening to worship music, I've got my earbuds in, my kids are playing in the same room where I'm filming, and I'm just having fun resting in that peace of God. These are the words of Jesus from John chapter 16 that he promises we can have peace because actually he's overcome the world. I find that so comforting, especially with how much our world today does not seem to be peace filled. It's such good news that in our hearts and in our lives, we have the one who holds peace for us and he shares it with us. Now here I'm deciding to go over my 
lettering, my printed part of the lettering, and I'm just turning each single line into kind of a triple line just to make it kind of look a bit scratchier, a bit more free form, less polished, less perfect. And then I'm using the same pen to just make a little mark at the end of each letter to just kind of give it an end point. I then decided to simply trace over the word overcome in three different colors of green and blue, just to sort of complement the colors that are on my world there. And now comes the fun part. This is the baby wipes technique I was talking about. It is such a fun thing to do in the background of any page. I am very simply in an elementary school fashion grabbing the crayons and I'm just going in rainbow color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, down the page and I'm creating this big rainbow in the background. And I was kind of feeling a little crazy when I was doing this. I was like, oh no, this is gonna be horrible. It's not gonna turn out well. But it turned out really, really well. I forgot how nicely baby wipes work to blend these things out. So I'm starting by blending the yellow and as you can see it just instantly melts and blends out beautifully. You can't even see the crayon scribble marks that were there to begin with and I'm just sort of blending. I'm switching to a different part of the baby wipe as I go into different colors and just kind of doing a step at a time here. And that background is just turning into this really fun, smooth, vibrant rainbow. And I just loved this. I thought it came out really cool. So that's the easiest background ever is to just use some water soluble oil pastels or watercolor crayons and a little baby wipe and you can blend things really nicely. I did use a blow dryer there just to help some of the excess moisture dry up a little bit quicker, flatten the page out and there it is. If you've enjoyed this process, be sure to find me on Etsy because Jesus Bible art. This template is available over there. It's in my piece template set. There's a coupon code rolling across the bottom of your screen that's valid through today. Again, enjoy your time in the word. It is amazing. God bless you and we'll see you over on Facebook in our group. Bye-bye.